Like the architects of the original moonshot, Fred Hutch also specializes in doing what people once thought impossible. As many of you have seen, in the lobby just outside this room hangs a Nobel Prize that was awarded to Dr. E. Donald Thomas in 1990 for his pioneering work in bone marrow transplantation. Because of his work, there have been more than a million transplants performed worldwide. And it was the foundation around bone marrow transplantation that helped us understand the immune system and how we could harness the immune system to develop curative treatments for cancer. It's an honor to be here at the Fred Hutchins and Cancer Center. I am absolutely impressed. Uh, your reputation precedes you, and being here reinforces every positive thing I've heard about this great institution. We're at a place where science and medicine have not been before, and it's offering immense hope that we can make breakthroughs that will affect the lives of millions and millions of people around the world. There's nothing I say to my colleagues that I've ever done before that has generated as much overwhelming, spontaneous, international, bipartisan support. Just like you, we know this is a deeply personal mission. Just like you, we are devoting our lives to this cause. When you have someone you love who is essentially uh, given a death sentence, um, you try to learn everything you possibly can in order to determine whether or not there's any alternative, any option, anything you can possibly do. There, there are many aspects um, that cancer research has yielded that are at an inflection point. We have to continue this fundamental research and understanding how cancer develops, understanding how the immune system interacts with cancer, um, because I think the power of sort of understanding cancer at the genetic level, understanding the immune response to cancer, will really yield new insights that will develop new therapies. But I think the reality is if we really want big breakthroughs, we are going to have to invest in good old-fashioned R&D. By the way, to all you doctors, if there are any angels in heaven, they're all nurses. I have truly had the privilege of caring for hundreds of, of cancer patients and their families. Truly what concerns me is, um, is access. I have personally had too many patients um, and have um, had to talk with too many families who don't have access to this extraordinary care. That means, as we've alluded to, we need to expand our public-private partnerships around cancer research. We hope that federal funding will increase with your leadership and the leadership of Senator Murray and Senator Cantwell, who have been so supportive. But we know that we also need to continue to establish industry support and private donations. Those need to grow as well to fulfill our mission. Everyone who has been touched by cancer and everyone working toward better care and cures must invest more now so that we can create this new reality that we aspire to within the next 10 years. Mr. Vice President, thank you for your time, your passion, and commitment. We know that together what we will do was once thought impossible. So let's push cancer to its long dreamed of conclusion. Let's quicken our pace of exploration, the rate of discovery. Let's double down on federal and private philanthropic funding because the time, it is now.